Good morning, cultists! In our previous episode, we left things off after winning two wars back to back against the only other Donny Poloist ruler in the entire world. This guy. Oh, he looks so sad. You know what? You had it coming. Because of your terrible motto, May Triumph join my coat of arms. Yeah, nothing's gonna join your coat of arms. Except maybe a good blasting of your backside or something. In any case, I think we might want to start this episode off with a little bit of uh, levity by going on a pilgrimage. I guess we should because we have the ancestor worship thing, which apparently gives us additional bonuses upon the completion of a, a successful uh, pilgrimage. So sure. Before I do that, though, um, I think I may have forgotten to set myself as the ward of my children. So, let me educate Pluten. Sure. Um, and I think maybe I should also educate my daughter? Hmm, Quasimodo, I think I've kind of given up on. Not that I actually, you know, had any hopes to uh, begin with. And she's now reclusive. Uh-oh. That's not good, I guess? Hmm. Also, let's get a new concubine. I think I tried looking for one before, but I couldn't really find find one that I wanted, or at least one that was willing to come to my court without having to spend 50 million buccaronis on. Um, so gender female, mal marital status unmarried, uh, not imprisoned, obviously, and within diplomatic range, yes. Alright, so let me look for some new concubines. Maybe go for someone who's lustful. Yes, there we go. Um, ooh. Oh, you know what? Um, hmm. Anyway, we can just look for congenital traits, because this thing does not allow for it, unfortunately. Of course, I realize that I spelt it incorrectly, but still, doesn't seem like it. So we have to look for individual traits. Man, that sucks. How come this filter doesn't have the same filter uh, options as my uh, spouse finder? Unbelievable. Because I can't look for concubines that way, can I? Not really, because I'm only looking within my realm. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna look for... Ooh, strong. Miss, would you be willing to come to my court? What do you say? Um, where even are you? Oh, you're a foreign ruler? Oh, oops, my bad. Not a ruler. Uh... Again, sort by age. No, we already have one hunchback in our realm, uh, that's my son, and I'd really rather not make more thanks. Lunatic! And that's also congenital. Nice. Very nice. Um, maybe we'll try to get this Bakun lady in our, uh, realm then. Sure. Right. Then can I just maybe try to romance you or seduce you? Hmm, maybe. I wonder if my wife's going to be upset about me seducing another woman. I mean, my wife is asexual, so I imagine... Well, I don't know if she would be upset by that. So, I don't know. Hmm. Wait, so it's still the same filter, right? Except that the sorting order uh, defaults back to uh, that every single time. Alright, maybe... Okay, then what about in genius ladies? Just straight up look for geniuses. None so far. Um, intelligent. I think we already did this before. It seems vaguely familiar. And I think she wanted like 80 buccaronis for not too much opinion. Yeah, that's the issue. That's the issue. I see. Hmm. Maybe we should try this regardless. Or you know what? Let me seduce her. And we'll see how this works. Like I said, um, this is a good time for us to uh, make mistakes and all that such. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shoot. I think I was already uh, in the process of... Oh, right, right. Because that's both through my Spy Master, right? Because I thought... Yeah, I mistakenly thought that one of them was through my uh, Diplomat, but it's not. No, and speaking of... Hmm... What about my steward? Maybe we should replace her at least. Yeah, let's go for Chuck Po. Sure. Um, you're not like an important uh, person, are you? 
No, she's a, a um, what's it? She's a uh, concubine. That's it. All right. Um, so let's do our feasting then. Cracking open the casks and inviting guests of honor is not only a duty but an opportunity to reaffirm bonds of loyalty and often a great pleasure. So that reduces my stress. I'm actually wondering if maybe we should um, not do that right now then. And that's going to cost us 50 buckronies. Hunt, uh, we lose even more stress, especially because we're brave. Um, but that's a little cheaper. Oh, I think we wanted to do the uh, pilgrimage first, right? Yeah, let's do the uh, pilgrimage first. The holy sites are the places in your world that are closest to the gods. To see them for myself is to prove my dedication as a Donny Polo. Boom. Um, you choose a destination along your faith's holy sites. The further you travel, the more piety you gain. Interesting. Longer journeys are more expensive. Minimum 50 buckaronis. Okay, well, I guess while we do that, we can have our troops do some raiding instead, so sure. It is time for me to set out on my journey uh, to one of the holy places, but which one? Itangar, right, and that is over there. Sure, what are the other options? Midog? Uh, the gangings in Midog, which is in Pimaco. Which is actually in my and Rima, which is actually our capital. Wow, that's gonna be one heck of a short um, pilgrimage. Or consider another holy site. Um, Tezu, which is where? Oh, okay, that's not very far. Ilam is ah, I think Ilam might be the farthest one. All right, well, let's go for Ilam, which will cost us a hundred buckronies. Sure, I guess. Though I'm not sure if that's going to cause any more uh, complications for my health. Hopefully not. Alright, I'm going to let my levies replenish a little bit. Departure. As I prepare for my journey, I know that I will travel safely under the protection of the gods. While I go with the supreme eyes, my realm must wait however long I may be gone. Hopefully not too long, knock on wood. And you know what? While I'm waiting for my thing to, um, or, you know what, no, let's just keep the, uh, keep my wife on, uh, stewardship stuff. Because I was thinking we would have her do martial stuff instead, so that we can get more troops, but I think, yeah, especially while we're, uh, out and about, we might as well, wait, I have a castle holding? Hold the phone. Where? Tribe, tribe, oh, oh, there's a castle in Medog. Or, um, Pimaco, rather. Can I move my capital there and then we just adopt feudalism that way? Not that we've really experienced much, uh, enough of, um, tribalism. Whoa, very cool. This is the first time I'm seeing the, uh, construct new building, uh, window here. So... We can get an outpost. Right. Uh, defender advantage, levies, garrison, levies, building construction time. Heavy infantry damage and spearman damage. And speaking of which... Um, as a tribal dude, I can use my prestige to pump out some uh, retinue, so let me try that out. So I used to pump out nothing but pikemen in uh, CK2. I'm sure that's changed now. So they're good against countering light cavalry and heavy cavalry. Armored footmen are good against uh, spearmen, so I'm assuming that's pikemen. Light horsemen are good against... Uh, Archers, bowmen are good against skirmishers, and that will be the light footmen, right? Right, so these guys counter heavy infantry. Heavy infantry counters pikemen, pikemen counters uh, horsemen, horsemen counters archers, and so it goes on and on. I see. Or we could also get some onagers. Um, hmm. Let's go with a pikemen, especially since we have a lot of mountainous terrain here. Yeah, like I said, it's time to make mistakes. Sure. So... They're not in my... I guess they're not like retinue from CK2. I see. Sure, I guess. And that's going to cost me 0.6 um, prestige per month. Which is actually a fair bit at this rate. Hmm. Also... Are you sure that I can't uh, assassinate you or do something with you? Because I really want to take your last territory here, if you don't mind. Um, but I'm assuming I can't. 
All right, then maybe. Oh, right, right. I think we were hold, planning on holding, uh, calming our tits a little bit so that we can uh, replenish our troops somewhat. Love thy neighbor. Among my fellow pilgrims, there's a man who preaches compassion and fellowship until he reaches the topic of heathens. One evening around the campfire, he loudly declares them to be abominable monsters in the eyes of the gods, deviants, and child murderers all. I've seen all heathens just going around murdering children non-stop. It's like a bloodbath of little bodies. Most people avert their eyes when they look when he looks at them. Tonight I was not quick enough. Do you not agree, O oh High Chieftain? They're not all that bad, so we can gain sympathy for heathens. Oh, tea heathens. Domain taxes, different faith goes up. Opinion of different faiths and different faith opinion. Or disdain for heathens. Levy reinforcement rate for the same faith. Um... Well, I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to ingratiate myself with some of the heathens, so sure. Why not? Let's go with they're not all that bad. Yeah, and hopefully... Oh, right, there's no opinion map mode anymore, so... Another thing that I have to get used to, I guess. And we are replenishing very slowly. Um... Marshall, what are you up to these days? You're organizing levies. Right, okay. Then I guess that's fine. Because I think... No, you know what? Let's actually have you increase control in uh, Pimaco. Because we're going to have some issues here for sure. Yeah, so I think until that happens, we're most likely not going to get much of a levy here. No. Reduced by 49% due to low county control. Pilgrimage, sacred groves. At last, I finally arrived in Elam. While some worship in churches or mosques, I know the most uh, sacred of places are in my uh, butt cheeks. Um, in the open forest where bare feet are caressed by the soft, nourishing earth, otherwise known as the earth's pubes, the old groves here are especially venerable, and I find myself wondering about my place in the natural world as I stand amongst the great trees and take a massive dump. So, 375 um, piety, and I also become a pilgrim, and because of my faith, um, we get in the footsteps of my forebears. Sadly, not literally bears, I would imagine. And that increases close family opinion by 10, which isn't all that impressive. But I'll take the uh, piety, thank you. Nice, so we're now faithful. Cool. What does that mean? Um, level of devotion, right. I'm aware of that, but, uh, how does it work again? Right, I gained a level of devotion. So, what am I capable of now? And you just won against whomst? Um, against, uh, this guy. Okay. I'm actually looking forward to these two squaring off, assuming that they would. But, um, he's got a lot of allies, it turns out. Oof. That is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Whoa, okay. That's something that we have to watch out for. All right. Mm, come on, man. Don't you want to just shuffle off your mortal coil? All right, you know what? Let's try this scheme and see what we can accomplish. I'm assuming we can invite many agents, can we? No. So if I invite him, does that increase my success chance by 29%? And they're just going to straight up refuse. I'm in I am intimidated? Oh, I see. You're intimidated by him. I see. Mm. And to bribe you, we need to spend 150? Absolutely not. Uh, if I abandon this now, I can't do it again for 10 years. Well, considering his... um. Well, his intrigue's not that high, actually. Hmm. It sucks that we can't re-scheme uh, for another 10 years. That's bullshit. It's so dumb. All right. Um, I think we'll just hold off for now. Sure. Because I'd rather we just wait for the uh, five-year truce to expire at that point. Yeah. All right. Let's do some raiding. Because uh, I mentioned that we might want to do this. Pilgrimage, the return. Oh, was I not already back home? My journey has been a long one, but I finally uh, come home again. While much remains the same, something has changed in how the... I almost read that as anus, 
uh, how the anus and uh, Mary treat me. Uh, I have undergone the journey of a holy man. Uh, emphasis on whole, and they insist it has changed something about me. It's my gaping anus. I don't know how many times I have to mention that I have a second anus now. It increases my shitting efficiency, which of course will increase my stewardship in turn. And they insist um, whether I can see it for myself or not. Well, I mean, you can't see your own butthole. Unless you've got eyes in your butthole. I mean, I don't know if you'd really enjoy that, but um, to each their own, right? Alright, let's do some raiding now. Before I forget, because I keep forgetting. Um, I guess we'll see... Oh, you know what? Let me disband these guys. Sure, and re-raise them and go lag. Mm, move that rally point to here. Is there any point to having multiple rally points? Like, the whole rally point system kind of, like, confuses me a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's fine. Why are you using a soap on a stick as a weapon, sir? 41. Oh, right, right. So that's six of my champions plus the 35 uh, pikemen that we have so far. I see. Oh, I see how it is. All right, low control. Oh. Smuggling ring. Unfortunate. My task to increase control has finished. Sure. Alright, how old is he now? Five years old? Alright, so next year we need to uh, set an education for him because otherwise it doesn't actually tell me. Another giant fucking uh, glaring emission. Uh, you know what? Let's have you guys maybe start in Markham or up north and then move down south. Yeah, how many troops you got? You have 313, that's it. Wow, that's embarrassing. And Yitzo is pregnant. Fantastic. Oh, she's my... Oh, she's hunchback. I see. Therein lies the problem. I didn't actually notice that. Oops. Um... No. So, I am still in the market for new concubines, so... If you have anyone with decent congenital traits, I'll gladly take them off your hands. Miss, would you like to maybe come to my court? No, what if I were to bribe you? 12 buccaronis, okay, that's not bad. Although, I do wonder if maybe we can find someone a little bit better. Uh, journaler, no, that's not a congenital trait. Um, fecund. I do want to try getting someone with fecund. Um... 60 buccaronis. Damn it. You know what? I think we're still in the process of trying to seduce her, so... You know, I think maybe we should let go of the hunchback concubine. Yeah, I'm sorry, miss. Um... It's just... I don't really want more babies with the hunchbacks and whatnot. I'm sorry I didn't notice your hunchback before, alright? Listen, I'm not that kind of guy that looks at, um, people's appearances and, uh, judging them uh, based on that stuff, alright? So, believe you me, I wasn't looking at your uh, hunchback, I was looking at your massive tatas. Um, Yang Chen, maybe? Hmm, Kelsang. I really wish that they would let me filter by, um, by, uh, whatchamacallit here. Inheritable uh, stuff. Sadly, we have to do it manually, because, ugh, I don't know. Um... Alright, so I think we found the intelligent lady and that we're trying to uh, sway right now. I'm trying to find someone else who we can uh, bring in fairly easily. How much to bribe your ass? 80. Son of a bitch! You know what? Fuck it! Ugh. I mean, we're not exactly lacking for children. Maybe for now we'll just bang these ladies. Until we can find someone a little bit better. Sure. Why not? And I... Don't know what the uh, cutoff age for pregnancy is in this game. I'm assuming it's also 45? Like it was in CK2? Possibly? Alright, here we go. We're doing some raiding. We can potentially loot uh, 17 buccaronis. And they have a garrison of 287. I wonder if this actually causes their levies to... Um... Does it actually reduce the levy? Because back in CK2, you used to be able to uh, raid down um, person's holdings and then just completely uh, destroy their military strength that way. Can I ransom you for 25 bucks? Yeah, go for it. Sure. I don't think there's any reason to um, keep these guys in our dungeons. 
All right, that's nice. Uh, powerful vassals. I don't really care. And we're currently working on the low control in our various places. Actually, no, hold off. Yeah, I forgot that we can uh, raid this place too. So I've noticed that you can actually raid um, these individual places, but you can only siege down the baronies. So I guess that's kind of how it works. Sure. All right, so we're done here as well. Fantastic. And I think once you're done burning down the uh, location or sieging it down or whatever, that's pretty much it. You don't need to uh, stay for any more sieging, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I could be wrong, though. Okay, so this does just count as a uh, raiding. It's not like an actual siege or anything like that. Gotcha. Although, I do wonder what will happen if the um, garrison is much stronger. Or does not actually make a difference. Maybe it actually just slows down the raiding um, pr uh, progress or something like that. Possibly. Any more prisoners to ransom? Sadly, no. But we are making a bit of money. And I think um, once they get back into my territory, that's when I get the majority of the, the lion's share of stuff. I do wonder if maybe... Hmm. No, I don't think we... Actually, maybe it's because I'm leading troops that I'm not banging my wife and uh, concubines as much. Possibly. And while that's going on, I'm going to look for some more ladies with congenital traits. Troubadour's dedication. A troubadour will soon be performing for the court at um, Ramavati. It would be a simple request to have her change the performance to be a dedication to Chandra the target of my affection. 64% um, chance of success. Great. Or I can gain some stress. I preferred veiled illusions to my desire for her. And that's because I'm brave. Let's go with the bold option. I'm sure we'll fail. Verdict? Hello? Did it work? What happened to the music? Not the game's music, but you know, the music that's going to be sung at the court. They're just not going to tell me. And I have a new son. And this one is not hunchbacked. Alright, um, you're not a genius either, so I'm going to name you not Quasimodo. You may think that I'm being cruel and playing with this child's life by naming him weird things, but not Quasimodo is actually a very common Loman name. Believe you me, as someone who is not Loman, I can tell you without a doubt that not Quasimodo is a legit name. But there you have it. Oh, it worked. Thank you for your gift of music. The Troubadour's performance was greatly appreciated. I especially like that line about how your dingus is really, really big. I'm sure I'm looking forward to it. I always knew that you were a man of impeccable taste. Yep. Oh, she's fakund and not uh, intelligent. All right. Still can't recruit her. That's fine. And uh, we're still looting? I thought we were done raiding this place. Oh, I guess we can't uh, raid that place more, can we? No, I suppose we'll tussle with this guy and then just get back home. And you, sir, we still have a truce with, I'm assuming. Yes. All right, that's fine. Are you actually going to stay there and tussle with me? Chances are even? How? Oh, my supplies are running low. Um, well, let's try to get out of there as quickly as possible, if that's at all a thing. Wow, we're fighting with a very terrible advantage. My beloved's balcony. Uh... Chandra's windows are lit by a warm glow, and even from the ground I can see movement inside. My pulse thrums loudly in my ears, both courting the uh, chance to bet her, as well as visiting Ramavati has left me in deep waters. Um... If you've been on the channel for a little while, you know my policy when it comes to uh, naming children and whatnot. If it's not a name that you can picture the child's lover um, screaming out in passion whilst making love, generally not a good name. So, I don't know about you, but I can't picture myself screaming Chandra Rabba Laba. Actually, that kind of works. Um, look outside and shine up my night. So she respond if she responds positively. Uh, smoldering chemistry. Up I go. So if she responds positively. I'm assuming this is depending on her um what's it? 
her traits, right? So she's gregarious, paranoid, and temperate. Mm, leave a seashell for her to find along with a note. Now, she is kind of intrigue-focused. So maybe I should go with this? Let's try up I go. Sure, and I think we're actually losing this fight. Can we just retreat, please? At all? Hello? No? Um, guys? Retreat? Or at least win the fucking fight? You know what? Why don't you just win it, please? And our champion has wounded Yi. As soon as I reach Chandra's balcony, she starts screaming for her guards. Help an intruder! Her voice follows me down as I scramble to get away, tumbling the last of the way back uh, to the ground before I disappear into the night. Right, I guess I should have known based on her paranoia, but I thought the uh, gregariousness would uh, overpower that, but I guess not. Alright, Chandra. I guess we're not banging today then, unfortunately. Sure. Alright, so you guys are back home, yes? What is taking you so long? Just jump across the mountains, man. Alright, there we go. Disband and... We may want to wait a little bit before we attack someone else. Yeah... Man, I hate that this guy has so many fucking allies. Hopefully you guys will actually be uh, useful and start tussling with each other. And um, you might want to get yourself some more alliances before you do that though. Just saying. Alright, so... Hmm... Can I attack this guy? Oh, shit. Oh, no! He's taken it! You have taken my holy sight! I can't believe you've done this. Ugh. Hmm... Then let's see. I guess I have to expand it to calm? I don't know how else to expand right now. Then maybe we'll attack this guy. Yeah, he doesn't have very many troops. I'll just wait for my, um, you know, army to replenish a little bit. And then we'll attack this guy. Um, I know we'll have some disgusting border issues here, but that's fine. If we don't have a contiguous territory for a little while, as long as it's not permanent or some shit like that. And then eventually we'll also move into a bum fang. Mmm, sure, thank you. Is there anything else I should be doing in the meantime? Fabricate a claim, don't need that. I guess we'll try to increase his opinion. Wait, what happened with the seduction scheme? It's still going on. Gotcha. Um... Then maybe for now... Why would I want to recruit her? No real reason, I guess. Can I convince you to... I still can't get it to convert. That's fine. No prisoners. Um... I swear. I was like, I need to do something. And that I just completely forgot. Um... Hmm... I guess hostile scheme power, maybe? We don't really have any hostile schemes going on, though, so... Integrate title. Promote culture. I guess we'll find out what those things do. I'm assuming promote culture is exactly what it sounds like. Promoting the culture and spreading it. Uh, much like uh, proselytizing, but with culture stuff. Not sure what integrating a title does, though. But, I guess we'll figure it out once we get a kingdom or an empire. Sure. Then in the meantime, maybe we'll do some raiding up here. Yeah, I mean, we have similar numbers, though, so he might actually retaliate. Which is fine by me. He does have allies, though. Um, you. Wait, are you not independent? You are not independent. Uh, damn it. For a second, I thought I got lucky and I could uh, take one of the, um, you know, de jure territories of, uh, of our kingdom here. No, we cannot. Damn it. Damn, damn, damny damn. Alright, then I think we might want to just go for Monu right now. Um, he has... Well, I mean, I thought that we were going to win very easily with this fight too against um, him. But it didn't quite work out. The sting of rejection. You are a serene man, Pelry, but I do not like you that way, says Chandra, and shakes her head. Only Shiva knows what tr uh, the future might hold for us. Wow. Okay, so we just failed? That is very unfortunate. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. After all that, you're the worst. 
Um, then let's look for some more ladies to seduce and possibly bring into my court as my future bang maid. Yeah, I do like that you're strong. Or maybe I should try to seduce my uh, son's wife. Actually, son, have you had any uh, children with her so far? You have not. Why not? What is wrong with you? Do you not understand how to, uh, how to sex? Just, you know, when you guys are in the mood, jamming in her, moving around wildly, and then let loose the juice. Doesn't matter where it is. It could go up her butt. It could, I don't know, go in her eyes. Or it could go in your eyes, maybe, or go up your butt. Whichever one you want. Um, eventually, it'll end up in a baby. At least, that's what my grand pooba used to say. Over the, uh, birds and the... Um, very deformed bees talk, I guess. Um, hmm. So how many, how much longer until we can go to war with this guy again? Uh. Oh, right. I keep forgetting that the uh, the date isn't up here anymore. It's down here. That's gonna be here for another three years then. All right, then let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow. Let our um army replenish a little bit better, a little bit more, and then uh, go to war with this guy. And we can make another stride towards forming the kingdom of Lomon. Yes, I think that'll be good. Uh, probably. Either that or we do more raiding, which might not be a bad idea either, because it did actually get me a bit of money. So that's nice. Yeah, we'll see what we can do in our next episode. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!